Are you tired of having to reach up high to get to those ordinary containers? From the makers that brought you the bread, just put the plate in the bag. Now introduce you to the all new. Oh snap, we could take food to go. I don't have a to-go plate, so I guess I'll just rinse out this Chick-fil-A cup and shove a bunch of food in it and eat it tomorrow. God bless. Those regular containers can be so slippery and hard to handle, but not this cup. Call now and receive nothing. Don't microwave the cup. That would be stupid. Just put it in a bowl, bro. That's like the obvious situation to do right now. Call now. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, whatever day it is that you're watching this. Or if it's nighttime, I hope you had a great day. Sorry if this uh, video looks kind of dark. It's kind of a cloudy day. But uh, today should be pretty cool. I'm gonna go hang out with my mom and my nephew for a little while, keep them company. Also, if I sound different, it's because I'm recovering from a cold. Something that I thought about this morning, I was thinking like, how dangerous your feelings are and how you need to attack your feelings at, at, as soon as you notice that they're trying to take control because your feelings can get in the way of a lot of things, it can block a lot of blessings, it can get you in a complete trap, in a complete snare if you let it, you know what I'm saying? So like, let's say you're, um, let's say you're reading the Bible every single night and it's becoming something that you enjoy doing. It's something, it's your time that you're spending with God. Um, you're just you're just enjoying the time that you're spending with God. You're enjoying reading the word and learning. You know what I'm saying? All that's fine and dandy. But then one night, you get kind of tired. Or one day, you're, you've been working a lot or you've been doing a lot. So you come home and you just want to go straight to sleep. So you decide, you know what, I'm not going to read the Bible tonight. That, I don't know if that's a good thing. Not a, I know it's not a good thing to not read the Bible, but I don't know if it's necessarily like a terrible thing. Like if you're sleepy and you don't read the Bible one night, I'm sure, I don't, I don't know if God would be like super mad at you for that, you know what I'm saying? But it is very important to make sure you spend some time with God every single day because it's a relationship that you have with God. So you want to make sure, just like a earthly relationship, you want to make sure that you're spending time with Him. You want to make sure that you're, um, you know, talking to Him every day, the same way that you would want to be talked to every day if you were in a relationship. But <clears throat> let's say you go to sleep, right? So it's okay. You uh, just the next day, make sure you know you get back in that Bible or whatever. But let's say there comes a day where you see it's getting late and you see it's time to go to sleep, right? Let me make it more centered, kind of sort of on me. But let's say it gets late, you're tired, and you, you realize it's coming up time for you to get ready to go to sleep, and you, something inside of you tells you, I don't feel like reading the Bible tonight, right? That's that feeling. The feeling is saying, I don't feel like reading the Bible tonight. That is when you have to tell yourself, no, nah, I'm going to read the Bible tonight. Because that one time that you don't feel like doing something is when it's going to just start happening back to back. So you don't feel like reading the Bible tonight. And then the next night, I still don't feel like reading the Bible tonight. And then from there, it just turns into you don't, just don't read the Bible anymore because you didn't feel like it one day. And then you start not feeling like doing it a whole bunch of days after that. Same goes with praying. Same goes with non-Christian related things. Like let's say you, uh, like let's say for my vlogs, I make vlogs every Tuesday and Thursday, but lately I haven't felt 
like doing them that much because I've just been so stressed out with other stuff. But let's say I, I say I don't feel like uploading a vlog this week or I don't feel like doing something. Who's to say I might stop vlogging and just never get back to it just based off of a feeling that I have right now in the moment. So like, you gotta be careful with your feelings because they can and will catch up with you and they will put you in a situation that you wish like down the line like because because it's hard to get back into feeling like doing something like once you don't feel like doing something and then you stop doing it it's hard to get back into a place where you're like you know what i feel like doing it again just make sure like as soon as you start getting that feeling like I don't feel like doing this or I don't want to do this make sure that you kill it right then and there and just do it anyway like if you have a routine well okay I will say this if you're doing something you know you're not supposed to be doing and you've been doing it for a long time and then you have a feeling where it's like I don't feel like doing this anymore listen to that feeling <laughs> listen to that feeling that might be the Holy Spirit 9 times out of 10 it is the Holy Spirit and that's not a feeling, that's conviction. So, but yeah, I feel like somebody needed to hear this. I don't know who, but somebody needed to hear that. So, um, I just thought I would relay that message. I needed to hear it because, you know, I go through feelings too. I'm not perfect. But yeah, if you needed to hear that, let me know in the comments below on Facebook or on Instagram or whatever. Let me know, like, how oh, man, Garrett, this stuff that you said about feelings. Uh, I needed to hear that. That would make my day. Alright. But anyways, yeah. Back to the regular schedule program. Where'd you go? I didn't go anywhere. It was from yesterday. Yup. Got a whole burrito bowl in that cup. What y'all know about it? What you got? Motorcycle game. Oh, you got a motorcycle game? Yeah. <laughs> this is my nephew, Elijah. Say, hey, Elijah. Let's hey, everybody. Let's show everybody our thing. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love God. Yeah. I love God. Get it. I love God. I got him. I love God. I love God. You say it by yourself. Oh, you, I have to say it with you. No. I love <laughs> Tell people, hey.